and uh, today we've got something that um, could be potentially very, very special indeed. And uh, yeah, it's from, well, it's a collaboration beer first off by um, a brewery that I've come to really appreciate, even though I've only had two of their beers so far. And that brewery first being Yankee und Kraut from here in Germany, in Ingolstadt. And this is a collaboration that they did with, uh, I was butchered the name, Pivovor Raven, coming out of the Czech Republic. And uh, yeah, this is an 8%, 8.7% double black cream IPA. Um, yeah, all I can say is, uh, the craft is Dustin. Uh, yeah, craft as fuck <laughs> already. Uh, fantastic artwork. Uh, the beer is called This Is Amart, I think that says. I can't really read it properly. Uh, and then it says on the side, so shut the fuck up. Um, yeah, has that sort of Neeston Control Center design theme style to it uh, with a nice wraparound label. And uh, yeah, a double black cream IPA. Um, I was in Beretta, picking up a few beers because we're doing beer chat tonight. And uh, yeah, Martin, who works there, told me, oh, there's a new beer that you have to try. And uh, yeah, he showed me this. And yeah, I think it's like a milk IPA, which is um, an IPA uh, that uses lactose. And then this is a double <laughs> milk IPA. Um, so I'm guessing there's a heavier malt build to get that ABV up there, and there's an added extra of sugar in this, so that also could help the um, ABV get higher. Um, I think that's how brewing works, is it not? I can't remember. Um, I merely drink the beers, um, although one day I'd like to do a homebrew. But uh, yeah, collaboration beer of a beer style that I've never heard of until today, and uh, yeah, like I said, Crafts as all fuck, mate. So, very exciting beer. Um, and a great introduction, hopefully, to uh, people of our Raven out of Czech Republic. Just a simple black crown on this one. Not too sure if you can pick up any smoke on there. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much at room temperature. I didn't want to chill this one down because I wanted to get all those flavours in there. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what this is like. Uh, could it be sort of like uh, an IPA version of a milk stout, maybe? I'm not too sure. Um, there's really no information at all on this. The only information I've found from like either Yankee and Kraut and uh, People of Our Raven is on their Facebook pages, where they're just talking about the brewing process of it. Well, they're just talking about, oh, we came together and we brewed. And there's really nothing on any of the websites or even on Rate Beer or anything. So this is, you know, a world first, I think, in terms of uh, video reviews of this beer. So in terms of colour, uh, I think that could be a jet black beer. Uh, lighting in here is really, really bad. I do apologise about that, but that's a really dark, intense beer. So I am guessing... Um, it is sort of uh, jet black, so I'm guessing like a, a black IPA with lactose and added sugar to really ramp it up. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. Uh, hopefully my palate at this stage will be able to you know, detect a lot. And um, yeah, very, very exciting. Nice looking beer and a nice one finger's worth of... Look at that, nice and creamy, almost like Guinness-like or jet black heart-like head. So I hope this is going to go down nice and smooth. Anyway, let's give it a sniff. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I'm getting caramel. I'm getting really nice chocolate malts in there as well. And then you've got really nice hop character in the background. It's got like a chocolate cream to it as well. Almost like a milkshake. Cherries, berries, that sort of thing as well. Just a medley of nice, creamy flavours. There's nothing like trying to get your attention in there. 
<coughs> there's not one flavor dominating another. Um, it's a really nicely balanced um, aroma combination. My sen sentence forming is terrible recently. Got a little bit of a soap sort of um, aroma in there as well, like a creamy soap. Maybe a little bit of a, a, like a light licorice as well. Slight, slight aniseed. Oh, it's just really, really nice. Nice warming, and then it's lifted by that hoppiness, so it's not too heavy. But, um, yeah, smells damn good, looks damn good. Let's hope it tastes even better. Cheers. I have never tasted anything quite like that. And it's probably just because I've got it in my head, but it does remind me of a milk stout in terms of consistency. Images of two olds by other means come into my head. But then this nice, malty, chewy, black IPA sort of character comes in. And... Uh, yeah, that is a really unique little beer, folks. Velvety, it's nice and smooth, a little bit creamy. You do get that lactose in there. And it finishes on almost like a fruity bitterness. Sort of reminds me of a Black Forest Gatto on the um, end of the swig, if that made sense. Sort of getting like a dessert liqueur flavour in there as well. So you kind of taste that 8.9, 8.7%. But it's not intrusive. Um, it is rarely quite drinkable. That nice, lovely creaminess is just so, so nice. Uh, nice, lovely creaminess is so nice. Great words. Um, that's a thing of beauty. It really, really is. Like a slightly thin milkshake. Mm. So it's not too heavy on the palate, but it's very robust. Very flavourful. You get that lovely bitterness on the back end. That is both hoppy and fruity at the same time, but cakey and desserty as well. That is an absolutely gorgeous beer. Seriously, that is really, really damn nice. That's one of the best beers that I've drank in a long time. And uh, yeah, if you craft his das then, oh man, what a beer. Fantastic stuff, really, really is. So exciting, so intriguing, so unique. But then you've got familiar flavours in there, so it doesn't feel too overwhelming on the palate. It's velvety, it's smooth, it's nice, it's not too heavy, it's creamy, it's slightly hoppy, it's desserty, it's fruity, it's berry-like, it's milky, it's like a bowl of cereal, but you've got some fruit in there, and you've added some hops into the milk. It's just an absolutely gorgeous medley of characters. And the great thing is, it's so well balanced. The alcohol is so well masked. You only get, like I said, like sort of dessert liqueur, maybe sweet um, liquor sort of flavour in there. But um, yeah, deceptively drinkable for both its ABV and the beer in general. Beautiful stuff. It's an easy 10 out of 10 from me. Uh, I tell you what, Yankee and Kraut doing a really fantastic job here in Germany. Uh, there's still a couple of beers I think that I need to try of theirs. But um, yeah, fantastic stuff. And I definitely want to check out more beers now from uh, Bivovar Raven. Because that is just a beautiful beer. Um, that it's beers like this that make me love craft beer the way I do and uh, yeah we should have picked up another bottle of this one so if you've tried this beer let me know your thoughts opinions like I said there's not really too much information about this beer right now but what information I can find uh, links down below as well as confirming as to what actual style this beer is uh, but sorry about that run out of memory on my phone again Beautiful beer. Check those links down below and I hope you will join me for another beer review. Thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully 
see you next time. Cheers, guys.